Hello everyone, I hope everybody had a great um, Wednesday today. Um, I had a great day today and um, I was just wanted to share some thoughts that I had. I was um, doing some, helping my daughter Lily with her homework and we had a little bit of play time with my daughter Lily and Leah. And every once in a while when I see that they start um, asking for too much stuff or not don't care about their toys too much or asking too much for stuff, just being um, a little too ungrateful. Then I like to tell them, I, I know it's time to start letting them know what are you grateful for. And um, I try to do that with my children a lot because once you let it go too far, then they start um, asking for too much and uh, not being grateful for what they have. You know. I, by, to be honest, my, my parents and um, my wife's parents, they buy our children a lot of things. Me and my wife, we really don't buy our kids a lot because, you know what, they really don't ask for anything. They don't really ask for anything. We don't um, let them watch commercials. We, they really only watch movies, and that's on the weekends. We don't let them watch TV during the week. And we really try to watch what they watch. And we're... There's a lot that, um, after doing a lot of reading and, and um, gaining knowledge from what I've read, I, um, I really want to focus on what goes in their mind, okay? So, I want to get back to being grateful. It's the same as us and adults. Sometimes you have to, when you start to want a lot, and it's, it's okay to, to, to want stuff, want good things, you know, you, but you always have to be grateful for what you have. And I know when I feel like um, I'm getting there, then I'll, uh, I have to sit back and say what I'm grateful for. Even though I do that every day, it still doesn't hurt to write down what you're actually grateful for. Or even just put it in, in the notes of your phone. But I know there is something with the mind that if you actually take the time to write it down, there is something with the connection of your mind and write it in a down on a piece of paper. And uh, there's been studies shown that there, there's a connection that it does. Don't ask me what, but I know I've read it before in, in a lot of uh, books dealing with the mind, the human brain and all that. But um, we have to sit back and, and really think what we're grateful for, especially now, you know, the, the month of Thanksgiving, even though it should be something that that is um, year round and every day. And, um, you know, sit back and think what we all should be grateful for. You know, I, I know I'm grateful for a lot, everything uh, me and my family been through. And um, every time something bad happens, um, because life just happens. I remember in the hospital, I was just thinking, you know, every time someone would say and or come visit, like, oh, you know, I can't believe this is ha something's happening again to you, Jack. And I'm like, hey. There's somebody that, that had it worse or, you know, somebody didn't even wake up today. I'm, I'm fine with where I'm at right now. I have a, a great support system. It, I, I would rather it happen to me because of all the family and friends. I, I knew I'd be okay. You know, I have a wife that loves me. I have a, a loving home to come home to. Some people don't have that. You know, some people don't have a wife. Some people don't have children that, that um, they'd love to have. So, um... There's little things like that, little things we take for granted. I mean, the the water we get, you know, there's some people that in third world countries, they, they wish they had water or they have to work so hard to get water. And there's a lot, of, there's a lot we take for granted. And sometimes you just really have to sit back and be grateful for what you have. And, you know, if you have a car, if, if you just know how to do math, <laughs> if you know how to read, some people wish they could read. So, um, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that, and um, you know, when, when you teach a child something, you're also learning yourself in the process, so you should take your own criticism when you're giving it to your children, too. So sometimes whatever you tell your children, you should, you should uh, take it yourself, too. So I just wanted to share my thoughts. I hope everybody had a great Wednesday today, and remember, it's not where you're at, it's where you're going, okay? Have a great evening. Take care. Bye.